Hey, in today's video, we're going to be focusing on how to calculate discounts and sale prices. We like discounts and sale prices. We get to save money when we see a discount. And if we pay a sale price, that means we paid for something on sale. So that's a good thing. Now, I want to remind you all that you should have already taken notes on all of the vocabulary. This should already be done on the first page of your packet. So you've got that we're in the consumer unit because we are people who buy goods and services. We know that. And today we're focusing here just on discounts, which again is the amount saved when purchasing an item. We like discounts, all right? Cool. Now again, friendly reminder that we're rounding to the nearest hundredth right here because we're dealing with money and we practiced that already in a video. So let's get going here with how to calculate our discounts and sale prices, okay? All right, so up here at the top, a discount is an amount of money that a consumer saves, which is then subtracted from the subtotal. The price that the consumer pays after the discount has been subtracted is called the sale price. So in this unit, I'm going to be asking you for one of two things. I might ask for the discount or I might ask for the sale price. We'll have to read carefully to see which of these two things I'm actually asking for. How much do we save? or how much did we pay after the discount was subtracted. So let's dive on into this first problem here. Now, a lot of you have seen promo codes online. It's like a promotion, so it's a way to save money. And anytime you're supposed to enter in a promo code online, that is the same thing as a discount. So for our first question here, how much do you save on a pizza if you enter the promo code 25 off, which gives you 25% off, and the pizza order was $23.98. So anytime you guys see 25% for a discount, you're going to use 0.25, and you simply multiply the decimal times however much money the pizza cost. So if the pizza costs $23.98, and you're using a promo code for 25 off, you're going to save 25%. So you're going to multiply by 25% or 0.25, and you can see why we talked about rounding in our last video. Since this is a five, this 99 cents needs to bump up, but there's nowhere for that to bump, so it's going to be $6. Okay, that's going to bump up to $6 off. So here, we're going to see that it's $6 off. That's how much money, this is the word off, that's how much money we would save. We would save $6, okay? So if it just asks how much we save, we are done with the problem. We would save $6. Now, the next question asks, how much do you pay for a pizza if you enter a promo code 25 off and it was $23.98? So the math is the same. You're still going to take your 25%. You're still going to do the 0.25 times the cost of the pizza, which is $23.98. And we already did the math, so I don't need my calculator. We already see that that's $6 off. Okay. But this time it's not asking us, we're not done, we're not asking just how much do you save, we're asking how much do you pay for the pizza. So this is actually asking us for the sale price. Anytime it's asking how much do you pay for something, it wants to know what's the sale price. So I will use my calculator. And now we're going to do the price of the pizza, so $23.98 minus the $6.00. So you would pay $17.98 for the pizza. So we do $23.98 minus the six. Make sure you guys are getting all this down in your notes. So minus the $6. So we would pay $17.98. And now we're done with that question. The most common mistake people are going to make in this unit is just simply answering the wrong thing. You got to read carefully and see if the keywords are asking how much do you save or is it asking how much would you pay for the item. All right, cool. So now let's come down here to this concession stand example. And concessions are a really popular thing at a lot of sporting events. People will buy concessions. At the movie theater, people will buy concessions. So you can see here we have a variety of items. And it looks like at the high school sporting event right here bolded, students get a 15% discount at a concession stand. So students will automatically save 15%, okay? So I want to know for the first question, how much would a student save if they order a pretzel and a Gatorade? So a pretzel 
you can see here in the list, I've already got it for you guys, a pretzel is $3.75 and a Gatorade is $2.25. So first, I'm going to go ahead and just add up to see how much the pretzel and the Gatorade are. And when you add $3.75 and $2.25, we get $6. And again, that's pretty basic math, but in case you want to see it, the $3.75 plus the $2.25, that's the $6. Now, they get a 15% off discount, though. So now we got to see how much would they save. So I'm just going to do that $6 times the 0.15. And it looks like... Eh, it's not that big of a discount. It's 90 cents to be 90 cents off. So how much would a student save? 90 cents. Now, a couple ways for formatting. You can put the 0 0.90 with a dollar sign because that's 90 of a dollar. Or some folks want to put 90 cents. I'm not going to circle that one because I don't want you guys to recognize that. With money, we want to use the like decimal math and the dollar sign. But I did want to throw that out there that that's what 90 cents off would look like if you use the cent sign. All right. It doesn't ask, though. Sorry, let me go back to this real quick. It didn't ask us how much did the student pay. It just asked us how much would they save. So we are done. We're going to stop with that calculator math. Okay. All right. For the next one, how much would a student pay if they ordered a slice of pizza and a soda? All right. So for this one, you guys can see that the pizza is $4. I got that. And the soda over here was $2.50. So if I add these up, the pizza and the soda is $6.50. But we've got a discount. So in the calculator, I'm going to clear the calculator. I've got my $6.50 times my 15% discount. All right, let's look at our rounding. This 5, because it's a 5 or higher, it's going to bump my $0.97 cents up to $0.98. Cents, okay? So this is a $0.98 cent discount which is basically a dollar off, but not quite. If we reread this question, though, it says, how much would a student pay if they ordered a slice of pizza and a soda? So this time, we have to take the 650, and we have to subtract that 98 cents because they got a discount. That's a 98, sorry. All right, so now let's just get our calculator. Boop. 650 minus my 98 cents. All right, cool. So that student would have to pay $5.52. $5.52 for this answer. So sometimes it might ask, how much do you save? Sometimes it might say, how much do you pay? And that's when you actually have to subtract away the discount. You're not always doing the same thing for every problem in the sense that sometimes you do the calculator math, then stop. Sometimes you do the calculator math, then you have to keep going by subtracting. All right, so let's see what we have to do for this one. Let's see if we have to stop after this math or if we need to keep going. So it says, if a student orders popcorn, candy, and water, how much do they owe? So if you're seeing how much they owe the concession stand, we want to know how much are they going to pay, which, again, this is a sale price question. So we will need to subtract our answer when finding the sale price. So in the calculator... We've got the $3.25 that the popcorn costs. Candy was also $3.25. And the water was a dollar. Oops, so this should be a $7.50. And let me fix that real quick. This should be a $7.50 in my notes. Cool. So this $7.50, now let's figure out what the 15% discount would be. Cool. So this discount. The 5 is going to bump this up to $0.13. Cents. So this person would save $1.13. And we know that they still have to pay for the stuff. So let's figure out how much they owe. It's going to be $7.50 minus the $1.13. Remember, we like discounts. Discounts save us money. And in this situation, our sale price would be, let's do $7.50. Minus the 113. Cool. $6.37. They would owe $6.37. So let's highlight real quick. Let's just go back and kind of highlight. How much would a student pay? How much do they owe? These are the questions for sale price when you actually have to subtract. If it only asks how much would a student save, it simply wants the discount. So you get to stop after you do that first calculation in the calculator. 
All right, and we have one more. Again, let's decide if we need to stop or if we need to keep going by subtracting. So what is the discount amount if a student orders two hot dogs and a soda? All right, so back up here, hot dog, we got a hot dog is $4, so two hot dogs would be 8 And a soda was two fifty. So together, that's ten fifty. All right, cool. Now the discount then, let's do the $10.50. Let's do the 15% off. All right, this 5 is going to bump that up, so this would be $1.58. Now it asks, what's the discount amount? We just found the discount amount. It's $1.58. That's right there in the calculator. So we are done right there in blue. It's $1.58 is the discount amount. So this is a discount, while the thing above it is called a sale price. This one was a sale price. This one was a discount. Okay. Now, in the video, even though you're done here, our, our notes are done now for page two, you're done with that part. But what I want to do is I want to actually show you a couple of things in your independent practice. Shortly, you're going to open up these slides. And I want to show you that this slide right here is just a sample slide. There's nothing for you to do on this slide. I just want you to review the examples and see, like, if it's 15% off, I did a 0.15. If it's 5% off, I use the 0.05. And when it's a 10%, I use the 0.10. So whatever the percent discount is, that's the decimal that you use. 15% is a 0.15. If it's 5%, it'd be a 0.05. If y'all, if it's a 20% discount, you would use a 0.20, okay? So here, I've got a 10% off, a 30% off, and a 10% off that I want you guys to try on, these, on this slide by yourself. And if you get stuck with what I want in this column or in this column, just look back to this slide. Let me walk you guys through the iPad example here. If you have a 5% discount and something costs $129.99, this is the math you're doing in your calculator. 5% is 0 0.05 times the $129.99. When you hit enter, this is the thing you see. And the rounding, like I said, for the nearest hundredth, look at the third spot. Since this is a nine, it's going to bump this 49 cents up to the 50 cents that you see here. OK? Sorry about that. That was a bell in the background. So we've reviewed how to take your calculator answer and round it to the nearest hundredth. And in this column, this is where you're going to tell me the discount. This is the amount off. And then I want you to take that and subtract it from the original price to tell me the sale price. So on your slides, you're practicing two things. You're practicing how to find the discount, and you're practicing how to subtract it and tell me the sale price. Okay? So again, this is a sample slide. This is the one that you're going to be doing on your own. It's going to be slide three. Slide four, you're going to be filling in the blanks using this word bank. And here on slide five, I want you to just decide which of these would be a better deal. And once you're done with your slides, you're going to have your check for understanding after that, okay? So at this point, your packet, this page should be done. You should have notes on this page. You should have page one also filled out, and you're getting ready to head into your slides and then your check for understanding, all right? And that concludes this video. Thank you for watching.